10 HIIT cardio exercises to get to 10% body fat. Getting into great shape is not as complicated as many people think. It requires that you get a lot of the little things right. A caloric intake, check. Macronutrient balance, check. A good training program, focusing on progressive overload with adequate training frequency and more. The next question is, what about high intensity interval training, HIT, or also known as sprint interval training? It is a form of interval training, a cardiovascular exercise strategy, alternating short periods of intense anaerobic exercise, basically going as hard as you can with less intense recovery periods where you catch your breath until you're too exhausted to continue. And hey, if you find this video helpful, do me a favor. I work my ass off in these videos and it only takes a second for the YouTube algorithm. Gently bless the like button. If you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hit exercise one and two, treadmill or assault treadmill. How to properly do hit on these machines. I would start at 30 second sprints with 60 second rest intervals. So I'd sprint at 17 kilometers per hour for 30 seconds. That's 80% of my VO2 max. And then six kilometers per hour for 60 seconds and repeat. As your body adapts, when you feel you've mastered the beginner phase, or it's not challenging anymore, move on to 60 second sprints at 17 kilometers per hour and 60 seconds rest at six kilometers per hour. The three ways you can make hit harder is one, increase the length of the high intensity intervals. Two, decrease the length of the rest periods. Three, increase the speeds at both intervals. With both of these exercises, you burn a tremendous amount of calories in a short period. Why I've placed these exercises first is because it's very likely in your gym, you can use any of these two machines to help you burn that fat. Here's a perfect example. My clients Fernando and James use the same HIT technique, a combination of a good diet and appropriate cardio that help them drop over 20 pounds each in three months. It can be very taxing on the body, but it does have tremendous benefits. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, help you with a similar transformation, you can book a free call with me. The link is in the description. Hit exercise three, the assault bike. I was recently introduced to this exercise as a warm up to boxing. The assault bike has a programmed hit routine which will help tremendously burn that fat. Firstly, utilizing your feet to pedal as hard as you can and pushing and pulling the handlebar simultaneously. You go all out for 20 seconds followed by a 10 second active resting period. Perform this routine for eight rounds. You should also know that your rest period should be active recovery, where you keep moving and not at a standstill. Studies have shown that active, not passive recovery is advantageous for reaching Vmax during the high intensity periods and eliciting the adaptive response to the exercise that we're after. Hit exercise four, medicine bowl slams. The medicine bowl slam really does hit just about every major muscle group, making them an excellent addition to high intensity workout routines. The movement can help enhance overall athletic performance, improve cardiovascular conditioning, and develop multi-directional core strength. Stand with your knees slightly bent and pass shoulder width, holding a medicine bowl above your head with extended arms. Bend forward at the waist, Perform a squat and use your core muscles to slam the ball against the floor about a foot from you. Let your arms follow through so you don't fall forward. Catch the ball on its way back up and repeat. One of the great things about HIT is you get a lot out of what feels like a little. There's just no more efficient way to use cardio to drive fat loss and improve conditioning. The downside is that you're taxing the body meaning you don't want to overdo it. Start with a five minute low intensity warm up. Do your 20 to 30 minutes of HIIT and a five minute warm down and voila, there's no need to do longer HIIT workouts unless you're focusing on improving performance and not losing fat. Exercise five, man makers. This is a full body exercise which you can perform anywhere. The movement is a combination of a push up followed by a one arm row. The next go into a full squat clean thruster. Perform the exercise 10 times, followed by 30 seconds to a minute rest. Exercise six, burpees. 
A recent study in PLOS 1 found that participants who did a total of 30 minutes of high intensity interval exercise each week improved their fitness and muscle function just as much as participants who did 150 minutes of steady state or moderate intensity exercise each week. Burpees are a calisthenics exercise. This means they use your body and weight for resistance. With burpees, the focus is on a full body calisthenic workout that aims to build muscle strength and endurance in both your lower and upper body. A standard burpee exercise works to strengthen the muscles in your legs, hips, glutes, abs, arms, chest and shoulders. Exercise 7. Suicides A high intensity sprinting drill. Suicides consist of running to multiple progressively distant lines within a set as fast as you can. Speed, endurance and agility are all highlighted when running suicides as they test your ability to push through mental and physical fatigue to meet your goals. Suicides can be done almost anywhere, at a park, in the gym, yoga studio, or a tennis or basketball court. All you need are running shoes and some props to serve as markers. Set up four to six cones an equal distance apart in a straight line. Put them farther apart to increase the intensity of this exercise. Get in a sprint ready stance at the first cone. Sprint from cone one to two and quickly change direction to go back to one. Then sprint to cone three and then back to cone one. Lastly, sprint to cone four and back to cone one. If you're bored of the treadmill and you want to do outdoor hits, suicides are the way to go. Exercise eight. Burpees to box jumps. An explosive conditioning exercise that combines a burpee and a box jump over into a single fluid movement. Burpee box jumps overs are a great full body exercise to build conditioning, endurance and power. When programmed in your higher volume sets, they will be significantly tested and improve the mental strength and your willpower. Perform as many reps as possible in 5 minutes and then take active rest. Exercise 9. Squat into overhead dumbbell press. Hold a pair of dumbbells next to your shoulders and stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Squat down until the top of your thighs are parallel to the floor or as low as you can go. As you lower, imagine that you're screwing your feet into the floor by actively pressing your ankles, lower legs and thighs outward. Your feet won't move but you'll be creating tension. Push your body up from the squat as you press the dumbbells directly above your shoulders. Your biceps should be by your ears and repeat. Exercise 10. Kettlebell Swings Explosive training moves such as this are ideal for what you're looking for to lose fat. The kettlebell swing is one of your best gym weapons for a high intensity interval, as a finisher, and at the end of a weight workout that improves your cardiovascular fitness and helps you to burn fat. Ten hit exercises. Out of the ten, I've given you five that you can do anywhere and five that you can do outdoor. I recommend doing no more than three sessions in a week and no longer than 30 minutes. Myself, I use a combination right now of most of my sessions as low intensity steady state cardio and then I do a combination of high intensity interval training which is helping me get rid of that stubborn belly fat and it's what I'm working on. Ideally, what's happening is that I'm burning a large amount of calories in a short period of time. But I hope you did enjoy this video. If you're interested in working with me one on one, the link is in the description to book a call. I'm excited to help you with your transformation. If you have any questions about HIT or your current cardio routine, ask me in the comments down below. You guys know I reply to you guys. I want to help you. That is my main objective. If you did enjoy the video, hit it with a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog on Sunday. Peace.